Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to continue the epic fairy tale recap. Last time we covered the X791 arc and the Key of the Starry Sky arc. And today we are going to get into one of the most beloved arcs in this series. So without further ado, let's get it. The Grand Magic Games Arc Fairy Tales core members return to find their guild at its lowest rank in Fior, while Sabretooth has risen to the top. Natsu sees this as a chance to reclaim their status. Meanwhile, Makarov reveals Fairy Tales' greatest secret, Lumen Hiswar, to Guildarts and asks him to become the next guildmaster. However, Guildarts declines and leaves a note suggesting Laxus return to the guild. Two dragon slayers from Sabretooth, Sting and Rogue, who are talking about Natsu and Gajil easily defeat an attacker. They are eager to face Natsu. At the same time, Natsu struggles in a spar with Max, showing that the returning members need to strengthen their magic. Seeking help, Natsu and friends visit Porliusika, who eventually provides Wendy with notes on Sky Dragon Slayer magic. At the Fairy Tale Guild, Romeo suggests participating in the Grand Magic Games, a competition where the winner is named the strongest guild in Fior. Despite past failures, Makarov agrees to enter. The guild members begin rigorous training to prepare for the games. Lucy then trains with Capricorn and the group enjoys a brief celebration in the celestial spirit world before realizing they've lost three months of training time. Other guilds, including Raventail, are also preparing for the games, with Ivan Dreyer aiming to crush Fairy Tail. Urza declares intense training for the remaining days. The team is then surprised when Crimson Sorcerer led by Jalal, offers to help by unlocking their second origin to increase their magic power. Despite the painful process, the team agrees. Urza and Jalal then share a moment where they almost kiss, but Jalal pulls back, lying about having fiancé to keep their relationship professional. As the Grand Magic Games approach, the team feels the effects of their enhanced powers, but remains nervous. They reach Crocus, the capital where the games will be held. Despite taunts from others about their weakness, they prepare to compete. The tournament begins with a preliminary event, the Sky Labyrinth. Fairy Tail barely makes it into the final eight. Meanwhile, Lizana and Happy find Wendy's bag hinting at her mysterious disappearance. The Grand Magic Games begin and Team Fairy Tail discusses the large crowd in their uniforms before noticing Wendy, who is exhausted and can't remember what happened. Elfman takes her place and poor Liuska promises to cure her. Outside, former Magic Council member Yajima joins Chapati Lola as a commentator. Team Fairy Tail is booed by the crowd, but Mavis appears surprising everyone. Teams Quattro Cerberus, Mermaid Heel, Blue Pegasus, and Lamia Scale arrive next, followed by the newly legitimate Team Raventail. Makarov is shocked that Raventail is now an official guild and suspects they attacked Wendy and Carla. As two more teams are expected, the crowd is surprised when Team Fairy Tail B arrives, including Laxus, Mira Jane, Gajil, Juvia, and Mistogan, who is actually Jalal in disguise. The rules allow two teams from each guild, and the commentators debate if this gives Fairy Tail an unfair advantage. The first game begins, and Grey represents Team Fairy Tail A, while Juvia represents Team Fairy Tail B. The game involves finding and attacking opponents in a city of clones. Raven Tail targets Grey and Juvia saves him, but both are attacked by Null Pudding. Rufus from Sabretooth uses his memory make magic to take the lead. The game ends with Sabretooth in the lead and both Fairy Tail teams in last place. Grey vows to get back at Raven Tail and Sabretooth. In the first battle, Lucy from Team Fairy Tail A fights Flare from Raven Tail. Flair plays dirty by taking Asuka hostage, but Natsu saves her and Lucy summons Gemini to free herself. However, Lucy's spell is interrupted and Flair is declared the victor. The matches continue with Ren from Blue Pegasus winning against Arena from Mermaid Heel and Orga from Sabretooth defeating Warcry from Quattro Cerberus. The final battle of the day between Mistogan aka Jalal and Jura from Lamia Scale commences. Jalal uses his own magic but is knocked out by Mirity and Altir to prevent him from revealing his true identity. Thus, Jura wins. Fairy Tail then regroups and Makarov encourages them not to give up. The second day's event, Chariot, involves racing through Crocus on moving wagons. Bacchus and Quattro Cerberus wins, followed by Kurohebi from Raventail and Risley from Mermaid Heel. 
Natsu and Gajil, despite motion sickness, also pushed through with Natsu finishing 6th and Gajil 7th. Staying from Sabretooth, ultimately finishes last. In the second day's battle, Elfman from Fairy Tail A faces Batches. Elfman wins, earning their first victory. Meanwhile, Natsu rescues Wendy, Carla, and poor Liuska from kidnappers. Mira Jane from Fairy Tail A wins a swimsuit contest turned battle against Jenny from Blue Pegasus. The final battle of the day sees Kagura from Mermaid Heel defeating Yukino from Sabretooth. Despite their challenges, Team Fairy Tail remains determined to make a comeback in the Grand Magic Games. Moving ahead, Urza reunites with her old friend Miliana from Team Mermaid Heel, and they share an emotional hug. At Sabretooth's lodging, their guild master, Gemma, excommunicates Yukino after her loss. Later, Yukino visits Natsu's group and offers Lucy two celestial spirit keys. Lucy refuses, and Yukino explains her situation, making Natsu angry. Meanwhile, Urza and Grey discuss their concerns, and at Mercutius, Arcadios talks about his plans involving the 12 keys. Natsu then attacks Sabretooth's lodging to confront Gemma for mistreating Yukino. Gemma fights Natsu, but Minerva intervenes, forcing Natsu to retreat. On the third day of the games, Urza fights all 100 monsters in Pandemonium and wins. Kana then breaks the Magic Power Finder device with Fairy Glitter. In the battle rounds, Miliana wins against Semis, and Laxus defeats Raventail, revealing a plot by his father Ivan. Wendy and Sharia from Lamia Scale tie in their match, and Jalal, still disguised as Mistogan, searches for a source of malicious magic but is stopped by the Magic Council. Yajima helps Jalal escape by convincing the council that he is Mistogan from Edelis. Elsewhere at a water park, Fairy Tail and the other guilds relax and bond. Flair apologizes to Lucy for her previous actions, and on day four of the Magic Games begins with the naval battle event. Minerva cruelly defeats Lucy, angering Natsu and Grey. Lucy is healed, and Makarov announces that Fairy Tail will merge into one team for the rest of the competition. The tag battles are announced, with Fairy Tail set to fight Sabretooth next. The audience now supports Fairy Tail, and Arcadius plans to claim Lucy. Darden recalls the Grand Magic Games history once called the Dragon King Festival. The tag battles then begin, and Ichia and Nichia win against Quattro Puppy. The next fight, Lamia Scale vs. Mermaid Heel, ends in a draw. The final battle between Fairy Tail and Sabretooth is now about to begin. As the battle starts, Igneal watches to see Wyslogia and Skyadrum's students have surpassed dragons. He mentions that the Dragon King Festival is near, and it's time for action. Chapati announces the third and final tag battle of the day as Natsu, Gajil, Sting, and Rogue face off. Fairy Tail members support their Dragon Slayers while Jimma is confident in Saber 2's victory. When the battle starts, Natsu and Gajil land the first hits on Sting and Rogue, surprising the audience with their power. Sting claims they defeated their Dragon Parents and activates White Drive, while Rogue activates Shadow Drive. They go on the offensive, but are pushed back by Natsu and Gajil. Sting then tells Rogue to step back, claiming he can win alone. He attacks Natsu and Gajil, sending them into a mine. Despite Sting's powerful attacks, Natsu and Gajil get back up. Sting and Rogue then use Dragon Force, thinking they have won. However, Natsu and Gajil reveal they were studying Sting's moves and continue to fight. Natsu taunts Sting and Rogue, inviting them to attack him together. Sting enters Dragon Force again and attacks, but Natsu fights back using his power for his friends. Natsu counters their unison raid with his own spell, causing a large explosion. The twin dragons collapse, acknowledging Natsu's strength. Team Fairy Tail wins and moves to first place in the games. As Fairy Tail celebrates their victory, Chapati announces a break day before the sixth day of the games, which will feature a survival game. Sabretooth's members are excited, but Gemma is furious, scaring the audience away. Natsu tells his opponents he wants to fight again, while Rogue realizes he overestimated himself. Meanwhile, Kajil, after his cart stops, finds a dragon graveyard under the Domus Flau. Elsewhere, Jalal closes in on a mysterious person, while Yukino marvels at Natsu's strength. She expresses her willingness to join the Eclipse Plan, believing it will save the world. Carla has a vision of Mercurius collapsing, but denies anything is wrong. In the infirmary, Team Shadow Gear celebrates, wondering about Gajil. Levi narrates a future scene where she mourns loved ones lost to fate. As Jalal corners the mysterious person who reveals herself as a woman, shocking him, elsewhere, Sting and Rogue face Gemma who demand they remove their guild marks for showing weakness. 
Gemma vaporizes Lecter, infuriating Sting, who then pierces Gemma's chest with a powerful attack. Minerva reveals she saved Lecter and tells Sting he must win Day 5's events to get him back. Skipping ahead, Kajil leads the fairy tale members to the Dragon Graveyard. Wendy uses Melky Way to communicate with dragon spirits and finds Zacronus, who explains dragon history and the rise of Acnologia. Arcadius and Yukino arrive, revealing the Eclipse Plan, which aims to travel back in time to stop Zareth, a dark mage. However, the Royal Guard arrests them for treason. Darden tells Fairy Tail that winning the Grand Magic Games can gain them an audience with the King to request Lucy's freedom. On the final day of the Grand Magic Games, two major conflicts unfold. Natsu's group learns that Lucy has been arrested, and they debate their next move. Natsu plans to rescue Lucy, but Makarov advises caution, suggesting they act wisely against their enemies. Meanwhile, Lucy and Yukino are imprisoned together. Lucy is worried about the Eclipse plan, which Yukino supports because she wants to change the past to bring back her lost sister. Lucy wonders if it's even possible to alter history. The sixth day of the games introduces the Grand Magic War game. The fairy tale team participates, but Natsu is missing. Juvia replaces him in the tournament, while Natsu, Wendy, Mira Jane, and the Exceeds head for the castle to rescue Lucy. Makarov reveals this strategy to divert attention from their rescue mission. The rescue team comes up with a plan, with Mira Jane already having a strategy in place. At the tournament, Fairy Tales members stay put, confusing everyone. Mavis, the guild's tactician, guides them to victory with a well thought out plan. Meanwhile, the rescue team faces numerous challenges from the Garu Knights who are elite executors working for the kingdom. The team struggles, but eventually overcomes their foes with teamwork and determination. Back at the castle, the team rescues Lucy and Yukino, but falls into a trap called Abyss Palace. They encounter future Lucy, who has traveled from the future using the Eclipse Machine. She warns them about the future and advises them to meet Jalal to further strategize. As they prepare to escape, they face more dangers, including the Garu Knights. During the games, Urza fights Kagura and Minerva. Kagura reveals her tragic past involving her brother and expresses hatred towards Jalal. Urza then defends herself and manages to defeat Kagura, but Minerva intervenes, causing further conflict. Minerva also captures Miliana to provoke Urza. In the midst of the battles, Gajil faces Rogue, who is controlled by a dark force. Gajil overcomes a shadowy adversary, earning a point for Fairy Tail. As the tournament progresses, Urza and Kagura's fight concludes with Urza's victory, though Kagura is severely wounded. Minerva's treachery and the chaotic battles add to the intense atmosphere of the games. The rescue team, now preparing to escape Abyss Palace and confront the challenges ahead, while Princess Hizui considers her next moves. Urza then asks if anyone has seen a signal from the rescue team, but no one has. Sting questions why Natsu isn't participating and great prayers for the team's safety. Inside the castle, the rescue team fights against guards and Garu knights. Suddenly, shadows attack and pull the enemies into darkness, confusing the team. Jalal realizes that future Lucy arrived a day earlier than predicted, suggesting that someone else with dark magic is involved. Arcadius catches up with Hizui and Darton, apologizing and giving Hizui his sword. He questions her about the prediction of a bad future and learns it was a man, not a girl, who made the prediction. Meanwhile, the rescue team hears someone approaching, and Rogue Cheney, claiming to be from the future, reveals himself. He explains he has come to make sure the Eclipse Gate is open to defeat attacking dragons and to kill someone who prevented this in the future. Future Rogue attacks Lucy, but her future counterpart intercepts the attack and dies. Lucy's friends are devastated. Future Rogue continues to believe Lucy will cause doom and attacks again, but Natsu intervenes and vows to protect the future. Lucy and her group then attempt to close the Eclipse Gate, which connects their time to an earlier era. Despite her efforts and Isui's doubts, Lucy struggles against the powers of the dragons that come through the gate. The mages and Crocus fight against dragons summoned by future Rogue. Natsu then joins the battle, surprising everyone by eating the flames of Atlas Flame, a dragon. Natsu and Atlas Flame team up to fight Mother Glare, another dragon. Future Rogue then reveals his goal is to become the Dragon King by opening the gate to gather dragons and defeat Acnologia, the Dragon King of his future. As Future Rogue's plans unfold, Natsu and the other mages fight hard to protect their world. Meanwhile, Rogue Cheney struggles with his future self's plans and joins forces with Sting to fight their dragons. 
Altir grapples with her own moral dilemmas, deciding she might need to kill Rogue to fix the future. In a tragic moment, Grey sacrifices himself to protect the others, taking a fatal hit from Mother Glare's minions. His sacrifice leaves his friends in sorrow, and Altir questions her own actions and worthiness to live. The battle continues as Fairy Tail and their allies fight against overwhelming odds to secure their future. With Grey, Batrus, and Droy badly injured, and Macau trapped, Altir feeling regretful but despite getting a second chance from Grey, decides to use a dangerous spell to reverse time. As she casts the spell, she severely burns herself, but only manages to turn back time by one minute. The mages, now aware of this brief future, use this knowledge to counterattack their enemies including the dragons and future rogue. Nantu fights future rogue and mother glare in the sky. He pushes them into the eclipse gate, breaking it and sending them back to their own time. The dragons disappear and Natsu thanks Atlas Flame. Mages then celebrate their victory, though they realize they did not actually defeat the dragons. At the final celebration, Natsu unexpectedly declares himself the new king. Jalal and Meridi learn that Altir has left a farewell letter and Grey discovers that the old woman they saw was Altir. The fairy tale mages then return to a joyous magnolia where their guild building is restored. Meanwhile, Zerif, who is planning to destroy the world, vows to fight Fairy Tail in the future. And that's the end of this arc. Don't forget to cast a spell on that like button, click subscribe, and hit the bell notification icon so you never miss another update. Until next time, peace!